Hello, hello, hello. I'm back in the African Reserve in the Hunter Call of the Wild and I'm the Painted Dog, as you know by now. So for this mission, we need to harvest a Springbok with a 100% integrity rating. And I got a, a mating call in this direction, if I'm not mistaken. Right before I logged out. So let's head in this direction and see if we can spot anything. So how have you been doing lately? Uh, I've been doing quite well. It's been a day since I played this game. And I, not because I didn't want to, because I didn't have a chance to. Because now I'm really into this game again. I need to see... If Get an open spot with cover, and then I can stand up and have a peek. Come on. Let's take out the binox. Poor. But let me head over and see if I can find any tracks and I'll see you now. And I think I just saw a spring. Yup. Trivial. So your problem is the wind's blowing in that direction. So let's take out our rifle. As soon as he's still and visible, we can try and Okay, let's go and find him. It's probably just a flesh wound again. But let's at least try and track him down again. I don't know why I'm so sucky of the springbok now. Let's head over and see what we can find. Ah, bleed red high. Hi, ah, here he is. Oh, she is. Your work here is still getting started, but you're already making a difference. This animal will feed locals who might otherwise rely on poachers for their meat. Yeah. Now it's time for you to bring Yami Yami home to the river. Take him to the site marked in your codex and bury him. All right. 3.14 kilometers. Damn, that's a distance to travel. You know what? Let's quickly go and see a side mission. Welcome to Springbok City. The best way to fight the poachers is to beat them to the marketplace and hunt responsibly to feed the hungry people. There are several volunteer hunters who help us do that work. They may not all be at your level, but they do good work. They're organized by Maria Bueni. She is a lioness. I'm quickly going Maria's to... Maria's husband was a ranger who worked with me. He... He was killed by poachers. When you meet her, don't bring that up to her. It's too painful to discuss. Just know that's why Maria's so dedicated to her work. And why you can't let her down when she needs your help. She'll have work available whenever you find time. Okay. I'm quickly going to travel to this outpost. And I might get an ATV to travel that distance. Because I need to spot the springbok and then we can go to down to the river. But that's usually not how you what I would travel while well, hunting. You know you walk with. I'm a big walk and stalk guy. Ooh, springbok. Now I'm really tempted to have a look there, ne? Nah, let's not, let's not get sidetracked quite yet. Unless I really, really see it. Let me quickly get an ATV here. Yeah.
hey, hey, hey. This will be the first time that I'm driving this bad boy. But this makes loads of noise. Woohoohoo! Wish it was it's me the first person view somewhere. Doesn't look like it. 1.3 kilometers. But I'll bring it back to something. Ooh, water. Something worthwhile happens, or if we get close. And here we can see the outlook, lookout point. I left my ATV in that direction. So uh, we can go and fetch it as soon as we travel in that direction again. But let's first get to the lookout point. Since I have to spot Springbok, a male and a female from a distance, it made sense to leave uh, the quad bike right there and travel on foot the rest of the way. I, I'm still just walking, not really stealthily, but just walking, but at least it's a li little less noise than with the quad bike. So let's get there and have a look. The savanna here in Vusha is the heart and soul of the reserve. This grassland sustains a cross-section of plants and wildlife, from the smallest birds to the harems of the pronking springbok. Or at least, the grassland used to sustain them. Okay. When the lions left Wuhonga, the springbok celebrated. No more lions to prey on them. But they celebrated too much, understand? Now there are so many springbok, we may have to rename this area Springbok City. I kid, but the problem is real. The savanna can't sustain Springbok City. Fewer plants will thrive, the topsoil will erode, birds that nest in the vanishing shrubs will flee. And if we don't get relief from this drought, the smaller animals competing for grazing areas will die. Yeah. In the absence of a natural predator, you will be the lion who hunts the Springbok. And like any fierce predator, you must begin by studying your prey. Why is this a long On pause? That, your codex has plenty of helpful information. But in Africa, the world is your classroom. That's true. Why only read about Springbok when you can see them for yourself? Find a male and a female, one of each, and spot them. Observe them. Let's quickly get the survey done. have a quick peek. Come on. Okay, female. Uh, she's a beauty. Nice find. Both male and female springbok have horns, and the females are only a smidge smaller than the males, so you'll have to learn to tell them apart. Okay, one down. Now find a springbok of the opposite sex. Come on. This shouldn't be too difficult, ne? This is springbok city. Springbok. Talking like I'm a, a foreigner. Where is it now? They are really elusive, these little, little antelope species. Oh, boo, 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 boo. Where are you? Yeah, let me see if I can find one. So you don't have to sit through all those boring bits. Let's see, is this the same one or not? Yeah, it's the same one. I thought so. But then again, I've been around. First look at point now. At least once in total. 
actually one and a half times but I couldn't spot anything but now if I can stand behind a bush and then you'll miss them but let's quickly scan this area <laughs> yeah you can see our quad bike in the distance <laughs> But no other spring walk in this area. Maybe more to the s to the south. Come on, can't be that difficult, ne? Ah, but let me find one, and I'll bring you back. Okay, it's not a springbok, but I do see a... Oh, I just missed it now. Should have been a bit quicker. It's a buffalo over there. Then always as soon as we find this one and get our quad bike again, we can go in that direction. And see if we can get the tracks at least. But I'm going to scan for another springbok. I know I'm going to say I'm going to bring you back, but that was quite interesting. But I'll see you now. Mm, here we have another warthog. I think it's a male. Yeah. But still no springbok. So I might have to stay here for a while, but I'll keep an eye out. Might see some other animals again. The buffalo disappeared behind that more, so we'll we'll just wait and see. But yeah, so far no other sperm walk. But I have a look and I'll bring you back if something else happens. So nowhere does it state that you have to shoot or spot them from this tower, so you might as well as soon as that war talk stands still, we might as well take a shot at him and then go down and see if we can spot the male. Come on, if you stand still. Okay, northerly direction. Let, let's quickly see. Oh, did that just happen? Oh, ha, ha, ha. it popped up right now on that, that red dot. But let's quickly see here. Yeah? Travel to a lookout point marked him and might spot the male springbok. So it doesn't really state that you have to spot them from out from this uh, lookout point. So let's head over in a little direction and see if we can find a. Uh, Firstly, the warthog, and then uh, some springbok. And we're approaching the site now. Bite to hit. Ah, there he is. Lead rate medium, but it doesn't matter because he's already down. A left lung. Okay, so he let's head in this direction and see if we can find the tracks of that spring walk that we saw earlier. And then see if we can follow her to the rest of it. Just thought I heard something. To the rest of the herd. She was in this clearing over here. About around the yeah, if I'm not mistaken. So let me find the tracks and I'll see you now. First might be her tracks, let's quickly see. Oh no, side strap jack. But there's a need zone up ahead, so let's go there. It might be for springboard. I'm going to go in that direction again, as soon as we find this. Ok, 
Okay, that's for side stripe jackal. So let's quickly go and see what this is. And then we can go ahead and look for some other spring lock. See, I like completing the side quests. Now, lesser kudu. No, thank you. So let me travel to that, that look at point again. And we'll see if we can spot anything from there. I'm back in the tower and uh, there's the lesser kudu. But still no springbok. Now as you saw in the thing it doesn't state that you have to spot it from here. But from here I have a greater vantage point. As you would think from a lookout point. Side stripe jackal. There's one. And kudu. I don't really want to shoot anymore because I don't want to chase a sprung book away if there is one here. Take a look at the map. It's usually mission log. Travel to lookout point. Uh, learn about book buka busa. So I don't really want to. I can travel around here as I stayed looks like we can but uh might as well just stay here for a bit and have a look so i got a bit hot full of fed up we're sitting right there so i thought let's go back to the quad bike and go and check out the buffalo square if it's still there and then we might travel to the river because if you take a look at the map that's around here, if I'm not mistaken. And we can always, it looks like we can spot the Springbok in any of these two areas. So we might as well travel there and get that accomplishment or achievement. And then uh, we might be able to spot a Springbok along the way. So let's get on here and let's travel. Let's see what, ah, oh, you see Cape Buffalo. Yahi, the Widowmaker. Most people call them Cape Buffalo. At a minimum, you need a 338 caliber gun to approach one. I personally recommend a 470, and even that's not guaranteed to stop Nyahi once they're charging. Yeah. In most places around South Africa, they don't, and some farmers won't even let you hunt them with a 375. But it all depends, it all depends. But I need to concentrate because you can hit the tree with this quad bike. Okay, just get through here. And now we can power through again. Mm. Might as well let you set here for the, until we get to the, to the river. Let's just use this road for now. I hate using roads. Let's grab it. Come on. Mm, there's an outpost here as well. Might as well stop and get this. Yeah. Straight where I wanted to go. Go around this thing as the crow flies. Hopefully, we don't hit any trees. Yeah, scrub it. That's the only problem now. Check to see the information when you get kicked off your your quad. Wait. Yeah. Yeah, I hit the tree. Do we try this? That, that's a list less than satisfying for it with at least 
fall over or something like that. Mm. Scrubby. Yep. This is also scrubby. Nope. I don't want this, the jackal caller. Let's get to the river. Before I get sidetracked. Oh, I don't want to do that. Hmm. This is gonna frustrate me to no end date. Eh? Let's get down there. This might be what we were looking for. I want to get buffalo. Drinking zone! Come on. Ah, we. That's the spot. Very yummy, yummy there. Very am where? Let's quickly do this one. Come on. The ancestors thank you. I can tell this is out of your comfort zone. My traditions are silly to you, I know. You kids always laughed at me because I went to the Sanguma when I was sick. Yeah. But the Sangoma's healing always worked. Always. So, who knows? Maybe now we'll get this river rushing one more time. Scrub here again. Ready for more exploring? Or time for you to go south? Zonga. Take love for Gorge. So named because ages ago a giant elephant, Lofu, dragged his snout along the ground, carving that gorge into the earth. <laughs> I don't really believe that one, but I find it entertaining. Okay. The path through the gorge is marked in your codex. Along the way, I'll need you to take a photo of a special site. Have your camera ready. Quick peek at the map again. I actually want to travel back there and see if I can't. Uh, I could swear well that I got that waypoint or that outpost. I did. Yeah. And let's get back there. And uh, I'll see you now. As you can see, I'm back at the lookout point. But I think I'm gonna have to wait here for a while to get the animals to come back here. And uh, in the meantime, this will be the end of this episode. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Only under the warthog. But we did a bit more exploring and uh, we saw the tracks of a gay buffalo because yeah, I, I pressed record too late for you to actually see the buffalo but we at least saw the tracks right around there and we saw a side striped jackal and a we hunted the warthog and we saw a lesser kudu but I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope to see you for the next one cheerio